So we're going to talk about what is a tensor. Well, Kevin, you know what a tensor is? I have no idea. Natalie, what, what do you tell, say? What you said a tensor is? I thought it was a three D matrix. Okay, a three D matrix. That's what. It, okay, so does this sound familiar to you? One number is a scalar. A list of numbers is a vector. A square of numbers or a two D array of numbers is a matrix. And then when you add another dimension, another uh, index into your array, then you have a tensor. That is how tensor, I think, is often used, especially by computer scientists and machine learning people the last 10 years. Tensors, I, here's what I'm going to say, they're misunderstood. Tensors are awesome, they're interesting, and they're increasingly being used by machine learning professionals, so I think we should talk about what they are. Rewind time, it's the 1800s. We are just starting to build out vector calculus, and we're start, just starting to understand the mathematics of topology and shapes. People like Gauss are looking at differential geometry and how you study spaces and shapes and what are called manifolds and, and these really interesting things. We also are you know, developing theory of linear algebra, which is the ability to transform, transform from one space to another. What we start to find is that we have this general concept of transformation, which is mapping um, in a linear way one space to another space. So maybe you know, your input space gets skewed or rotated or twisted, and you know, we can do that with matrices between vector spaces. But if you want to model things that are more complicated, like the curvature of the space or how the space is being distorted or stretched, like you might encounter on the study of shapes or spaces or elasticity or fluid flow, all of a sudden the transformations between um, where you are maybe in space and the shape of that space gets really complicated. And those, those transformations, you can embed them into a specific basis where uh, you can assign numbers to that space. But the concept of something is rotated or twisted or distorted is a geometric concept, right? That's independent of what's called the basis or the coordinate system. You know, you can have 100 different coordinate systems where the numbers in your tensor are different, but the transformation it does to that space remains the same. Tensors are a geometric object. Their first application, what popularized them was general relativity by Albert Einstein. He had a lot of trouble learning tensor analysis and, and the calculus of tensors. But by using those tools, he was able to build the theory of general relativity. Similar, the study of elasticity, stress and strain tensors um, are really important in continuum mechanics. Fluid flow uses tensors. And these are all places where you can't just use a vector or a matrix, but you have these higher dimensional transformations that are geometric. But the reason that thinking about them geometric is important is just like matrices can have multiple bases or a vector can have multiple bases or coordinate systems, so can tensors. And as you get to more and more complex abstract spaces, um, it becomes more and more useful to think more about the geometry of the space and less about just as a list of numbers. That said, the reason they've become popular in machine learning is because you might, like say, have an image and then you might have a model that manipulates that image for a stack of many images in a batch, and maybe you have multiple you know, convolutional filters uh, by multiple images, by multiple batch uh, elements. And so you start to um, accumulate multiple index indexes, more than just two indexes, into your array like you would with a tensor space. But tensors themselves are this very beautiful um, aspect of differential geometry, an extension of calculus that we're obviously taking advantage of in, in machine learning, but it's also a really great invitation for if you're you know, studying machine learning to learn about general relativity and learn about differential geometry and learn about the origin of this stuff because it might give you better intuition for what you're actually doing uh, for training a machine learning model, which is uh, manipulating uh, abstract shapes called manifolds, remolding that space like you might mold clay. And so tensors are very misunderstood uh, they're not just, uh, you know, cubes of numbers, but they are transformations between high dimensional spaces and other high dimensional spaces of which there is a massive zoo to explore. Should we do like, what is a tensor for kids? <laughs> no. No? All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any terms from the world of technology and machine learning AI that you want us to define, post it in the comments. Thanks for everyone who's been submitting. Uh, if you want to keep following these, make sure to subscribe to uh, Grid Space on YouTube and learn more about AI and machine learning and all the fun stuff that we do here.